Hello everyone, it's Brian coming at you again today. Um, it's day 26 of my P90X2 workout. Uh, I just finished yoga. You can see I kind of worked up a little bit of sweat. It was the X2 yoga. Um, I'm finding the X2 yoga like the other exercise really gives me a good workout. I'm at week four right now. So this is the fourth time I've done the yoga workout. And you know, I can honestly say that when I did them on week one, they sucked. On week four, they still suck. You know, it's really, it's really hard to do for me. The yoga, as I mentioned last week, is very mindful, being very patient with what you're doing. Um, but even though they may suck for me to do and I'm not really liking it, you know, I'm finding that each week I'm doing a little bit better. Some things I still struggle with the yoga is just things because of my shoulder. There's um, like crane, the crane move. I do not even attempt to do that at all right now because that's getting up on um, putting your two hands down with your knees down but actually standing up on your hands. Um, there's no way I'm even going to attempt to do that at this point. You know, I kind of do a little movement as I just kind of get down on there when they're doing that exercise. And I'll get down on my, I get up on my tiptoes. So I'm still having probably 70 to 80 percent of my weight on my feet. But again, at least I'm trying to do it. Um, I'm still doing, um, I mentioned before, I'm doing kind of doing waist to knee push ups now. I'm starting to get up and down quicker when I'm doing those. But again, the reason I'm able to do some of this is just because of the stretching. You know, even right now, I'm a little a little sore in my shoulder. I don't know if the way I got the camera set, if you can really see it. Maybe if I can step back a little bit, you can see it a little bit better. You know, I can reach down and touch my touch my hands to the floor. But that's from doing yoga for 70 minutes or 67 minutes, you know, whatever this program is. But, you know, over time, you know, you do loosen up and you do strengthen. When I'm out this summer, this upcoming summer, doing the hike on the Appalachian Trail, I am going to do a little bit of yoga each morning before I get up and go uh, take off on my hike after I, probably after I pack up, get camp packed up and ready. I'm going to do a 30 minute yoga session at, least, at minimum and at the end of each evening I'm going to try to do that. And if I get really energetic and I feel like I'm getting sore, I may do some stretching during the day. I think this is going to help for my longevity and actually help me be able to hike a few more miles each day. I'm not sure right now as to how much I'm going to hike because so I don't want to be in a big hurry because I do want to enjoy the hike. But, on, but in reality, I do got to hike 4,370 miles, and I've got 259 days to do it. So I've got to hike, I think it's right around 16, 17 miles a day in order. And that includes my days off. So there's going to be some days I'm going to hike 20 plus miles just so I can take a couple of days off and really enjoy some, some of the scenery. I might even just camp out in one spot and stay there all day. You know, who knows what's going to happen? I'm really open to it. Uh, if you guys get a chance, you know, make sure you listen to our um, interview that we had yesterday on the AV Business Radio. Talks a little bit more about hiking for wellness and also hiking in the Los Angeles area. You know, if you're feeling tired and you're you're really sore, get up and go for a walk. You know, whether it's that first deck and cake parking, you know, everybody's out shopping today, it's Black Friday. Park further away from the store. You know, take the steps instead of the elevator. Leave a little bit of food on your plate. You know, you don't have to clean up or eat every piece of food you put on your plate. plate. Um, we were taught that as children, but you don't have to do that. Um, take care and we'll see you tomorrow on day 27. Have a good day. Bye.